to six, the arrest that may have saved a man's life. He began stabbing himself as police closed in. The bizarre scene played out with the dash cam rolling. Officers putting their own lives at risk to stop him. Seven Action News reporter Brianne Palmerini is live in Royal Oak right now where that drama unfolded. Pretty amazing, Brianne. Yeah, Stephen and Carolyn, the man was parked here in this Meyer parking lot in a stolen vehicle. Now, police say they were actually looking for that stolen vehicle, but they were not expecting the reaction that man gave. Here's a look at that video. Hands up, hands up! You can see the suspect sitting in the car, the reflection of the police lights flashing. The Royal Oak officers are trying to arrest the man. Then they notice he has a knife. And here you can see him start to stab himself in the leg. You drop the knife now! As they surround the vehicle, one of the officers breaks the passenger window and gets him to drop the weapon. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! When they finally get him out of the vehicle, he's handcuffed. Then one of the officers applies a tourniquet. It's a part that wasn't caught on camera. Because he's bleeding so heavily, they applied a tourniquet to his leg to stop the bleeding. The Royal Oak Police Chief says the man could have died. He believes the man was attempting to commit suicide. It's most likely what was going on. We can't say for certain, but um, I can't think of what else he was trying to do. The suspect is expected to recover. Police say the man is a parole absconder. The car he was sitting in had been stolen two weeks ago from Berkeley, and he was likely involved in other incidents. He was in a stolen vehicle. There was evidence from uh, he's breaking into vehicles that night. He had stolen property from uh, larcenies from autos that occurred that night in Berkeley. Police haven't named that suspect just yet. He is still in the hospital getting a mental and physical evaluation. Again, he could be connected to other break-ins. Live in Royal Oak, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brianne.